slowly climbing in voltage. It's enough to burn me while I'm trying to, ow, 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 ow. Dude, 600 FPS, oh my goodness. We turned heat into cold. 16 Celsius, you could run that back into, it, it, it could power itself. By the way, I'm not dead. Update video on this uh, soon. The other day, my eyes peeled open out of excitement. And I was like, I was like vibrating out of excitement. You know what I'm saying? And I said to myself, ha, I could build a Windows computer, Windows 10 computer that runs on fire. Okay, we gotta plug it in. We gotta plug it in quick. Oh my goodness. No way. Sure, that'd be sick. Fire in the thumbnail, share it with your grandma. Please share the video with your grandma or mom or cafeteria lady. So the next day, and by that I mean like three weeks later, I got a bunch of these like cheap little thermoelectric generator things that straight up look like those little snack crackers we were force fed as a kid. Thermoelectric generator. Basically you get one side hot, one side cold, and it'll output a current. Oh yeah, check that out. That is so much more than a potato. Let me tell you, I'm so glad. It's not a potato. Plug it into the wall. Plug it into the wall. Okay, two volts. Oh, more than an amp? What? So I slapped five of them onto a water block and then connected that to a water hose. So stay nice and cold. Then I put heat sinks on the other side. Thermal glue. Then I got one of Olivia's cake pans and I uh, cut a hole into it. Oh yeah. Do a bunch of insulation on there. Oh my goodness, I don't know if I can do this. Oh, bro. Feels like I just washed my hands 50 times and then like rubbed them on a chalkboard. Oh, it's over. Wait, I have to cut the center. Oh! Put it on a little smokeless fire pit. We need the water hose to be connected to the, to the thigh bone. It's a steady five volts with two amps. Freaking power the computer. We gotta plug it in, we gotta plug it in quick before everything destroys itself. And then boom. I think, oh, okay, it blinked. Uh oh, it's getting the wires. Oh no, not the connection, not the connection. It's so close, it's so close. But then it hit me though. This is stupid. <laughs> There's an outlet behind me, like five feet away. Remember when I spent three months powering a PC with potato? Smash. Yeah, I can still smell it. Just plug, plug it into, into the wall, wall, man. But it got me thinking, you know, I can just turn heat into electricity. That feeling when law of thermodynamics hits you. Because like every time new PC parts come out, which is right now, everyone freaks out, including me. Even as I'm editing this, Ryzen 7000 comes out and straight up hits max heat in like eight seconds. They're like, it's got so many gigaparts. It has 9,001 watts. This tech tuber, he'd be like, oh, it's basically a space heater at this point. I told you guys six months ago exactly how many gigaparts this thing would have. I'm going to tell you precisely how many mega shards per second this will get. You. And then Linus be like, I'm about to drop this. <laughs> Buy my underwear. This time around, dude, you got people talking about how like, it's gonna use so many watts and generate so much heat that like the power grid can't keep up with like the AC and the PC parts. Cause the AC has got to run because you're generating so much heat. Last time around, you had people's 3090s literally catching fire. Turns out this was actually a 3D render, but they had us thinking it, man. I think Russian Badger's PC like went up in flame. And then what do they do? Then what do they do? They overclock it. They're like a 3090 Ti, 12900, 12900K, 12900KS. More watts, more heat. Well, <laughs> I now wield the power to turn heat into electricity. So what if the heat from your PC was what? useful? That's what I set out to test. And for that, I'm gonna need a maximum gigafart PC. So luckily I had the privilege to visit the best place to buy computer parts. What's up guys, today we're headed to Micro Center. And they agreed to sponsor this little endeavor and give me whatever parts I need. <laughs> this is my favorite aisle. To my relief, the staff was once again incredibly helpful. Ryzen 9, how many gigafarts does it have? Gigafarts, at least four. I see this is nine on the box. I was hoping for nine. Even though you guys literally destroyed the store looking for the Shrek bill on aisle six. Look how much different it looks. In hindsight, it's my fault. Was it pretty bad? It was pretty ugly. They so, just, they just ripped um, the aisle shreds. Oh so my, I'm the one who shouldn't have done it. But still. Okay, it's gone. This guy got it and the free PC. It's over. Logus Bobby on the back, dude. So if you're not some nerd who's gonna ransack the store and you're a new customer, you can get $25 off a processor. Like I said, a lot of new stuff coming out, so right now is a great time to build. And if you don't wanna build it yourself, use their online PC builder tool and have an expert technician assemble it for you. And listen, I visited a lot of their stores, talked to a bunch of the employees. I would indeed consider them actual experts. Do they have any gigafarts? Yeah, but not as much. Okay, less gigaforts. Plus, they paid me to turn my toilet into a PC, so.
All of that being said, these are the parts I chose to get the most powerful and hottest PC at the time of recording this video. It's so pretty though, I don't want to catch it on fire. It's going to be getting hot, and I need it to be stable, so I went with an MSI Mag motherboard. Now, I will install a CPU to a spinning motherboard. I did it. For the CPU, I went with the 12900KS, which is absurd in a good way. For the RAM, I went with Team Group 5600MHz DDR5 and a 1TB SSD, because everything else is on my network. RGB power supply that we're going to stuff in the back, but we know it's there. The cooler is a 240... <coughs> Great cooler, but a little too small for this build, and I'll show you why later. Guess how many fans? One. Mr. Holmes, you're dumb as a brick. Why you only use one man? You got another heat beep beep. That's what you sound like when you say something dumb. And then just a big, fat 3090 Ti. Yeah, you know, that's good stuff, man. And I put antivirus on it. And then I need a set antivirus, but that's way over there. I'll go get it. Yeah. I got a couple viruses. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty bad. So without a doubt, this thing's gonna put off some heat. But the thing is, what's happening with these little TEGs is heat makes electrons bounce around. So if you heat one end of a conductor like a wire, it pushes electrons to the other side that is colder, which creates your voltage. So I just need to funnel all the heat from this PC Take a fart. <laughs> to one side of these TEGs and then keep the other side cool. Just need something that perfectly fits on this section here. I imagined I could get some sort of insulated box shaped object. No way. It's like a glove. It's like it was meant for this. No meme. It fits like perfectly. Like I know it's cardboard, but this is a prototype. So I'm thinking I use my one, one fan to pump all the heat from the PC straight onto these heat sinks. And these heat sinks will absorb the heat from the GPU, the CPU, everything, and then transfer all of that straight onto the one side of the TEG. And if they're inside this box, then the cardboard will act like an insulator. So the heat can't escape and get onto the side that's supposed to stay cold. And to keep that side cold, what I'm doing is essentially using the same cool system that would otherwise be on the PC. A little pump and one more fan. So that's the layout. Look at that. Look at the thickness is like perfect. Slot on in there. Ooh, like a glove, baby. I added one more big one up here for good measure. And then I spent a couple days just like cutting and drilling and cutting and drilling. Obviously I cut a big hole in the side so you could see what's going on in there. If I was truly a YouTuber, I'd just put a battery in there and then fake it. <laughs> it would have saved like three days of my life. <laughs> I thermal pasted the water block on and then I did a little bit of bolting. And a little bit of sticking. Also just a little bit of bleeding. So where does the air go after it hits these heat sinks? Well, I have it set up to where it circulates back into the system. Now, this may sound dumb, but according to the laws of thermodynamics, we are turning heat into electricity. So the air that we're sending back into the PC is a lower temperature because the heat is being removed and turned into a current. So not only will we be producing a current from the heat, but since we're removing the heat, our AC has to run less, saving even more energy. If it works. Now, I could fire up some synthetic benchmarks, or I could take it into some real life scenarios and live my life and use this 48 inch OLED LG Ultra Gear monitor and play like four instances of Minecraft <laughs> with like Rocket League in the front. LG claims that this is the best console gaming monitor. Oh my goodness. And I gotta say, I do agree. Yeah! Maximum gigafarts. Engaged, CPU temperature 33 degrees, and our GPU is sitting at a chilly 32 degrees. In theory, this And if you guys thought for one second that I forgot the RGB on my prototype generator invention, you're dumb. The RGB will be powered from the system itself. The fan and pump will be powered from the system itself as though it's part of the system. Yeah. I fired up a mini Minecraft and I Rocket League. Inch OLED. Duh. <laughs> oh yeah, another Minecraft, dude. 600 FPS. Oh, the CPU's hit 100. And the heat started rolling in. What voltage are we getting, if any? 0.6 volts is what it's showing right now. Now the real test is how many volts it can produce at peak efficiency. So as the heat transfers into the heat sinks, we should only increase in voltage up to 0.7 volts. Okay, we gotta keep gaming. 
this electricity is being generated 100% off the heat of this computer. In order to increase the voltage, I wired two of the modules into a series instead of parallel. Oh, we are past one volt. Let's increase the voltage once again by wiring yet another set of them into a series. Ow, ow, ow. Oh my goodness. We're up to two volts. This is what the wiring looks like now because I touched it. 2.1 volts at almost 300 milliamps and climbing. So I'm gonna wire the last one into a series. And so they'll all be wired up into a series. We are now at 2.4 volts. And it was still steadily climbing. You could use this current on the same technology. Basically like a little mini air conditioner. To turn the electricity back into cold air. The electrical current then goes into the TEC and essentially what we've done. We've turned hot into cold. Ambient temperature of the room is 22 degrees Celsius. 16 Celsius. You could save the energy by putting it into a battery, but what I think would be the most effective use of something like this would be putting it back into the power supply to increase the overall efficiency of your PC. Now, obviously the heat won't entirely power the PC, but it's definitely enough to save some money. And so we peaked in high school, sorry. We peaked at like 2.7 volts. And as it turns out, one of my modules was broken. Or 50 millivolts or less. Yeah, it's just broken. So we would be making like 25% more power if this one wasn't stinking broken. Yeah, and it's made out of cardboard. So. so if I could do this with some crap off the internet and a cardboard box, I know it could be done much better. Efficient modules that weren't trash and like $9 a piece. If this were actually manufactured, it could be a viable product that not only generates some electricity. You could probably create 70% more power than this one here. And then if you had a more efficient heat transfer. But take some heat off your air conditioner. If you got 20 watts off the heat, you could run that back into itself. Now I will be submitting this build to the Build Showcase on Micro Center's website, and you can do the same and actually receive a coupon for it. So check out those links in the description. Thank you, Micro Center, for always sponsoring whatever it is I got going on, man. Box of scratch, making a generator. Come on, I'm basically in a cave. Give it to me. Tony stocks, baby. Quick update on the Waldo situation a lot of people have been asking. We are almost ready for clip submission. We're looking for help on the infrastructure team, someone to lead that team. There's information in the description, new video on it soon. Thank you, goodbye.